Hello, I'm Rob Evans here at the Backsea Training Centre in Warrington and today's Training Tuesday video we're going to take a look at the menu structure on the Backsea Combi 2 range of appliances. <music> to enter the menu structure on the Combi 2 what we have to do first of all is wake the appliance up. So you can see that the display has gone off, it's gone blank. So by pressing any button, the display will illuminate and allow you to enter the menu function. So to enter the menu function, all we have to do is press the menu button here. The first section of the menu structure that we're going to take a look at is the information menu. So you can see we've got I inside a circle flashing. To enter the information menu, all we need to do is press enter. Now inside the information menu, we have 30 pieces of information data, which is read only. And it will display information from flow and return temperatures, all the way up to the reasons why it went to a lockout or fault code. You can also get flame rectification signal, and lots and lots of other information which can assist you in fault finding and making sure that the appliance is doing what it's supposed to do. To get further information about what each of these individual read-only information parameters mean, then we need to read the manufacturer's instructions or pop along to a training day and we'll go through them with you. To come out of the information menu, all we do is press the back button. Now what we're going to do is navigate across to the next symbol. The next symbol is a person symbol. So when we press the enter key now, that will display six pieces of changeable information or parameters that can be altered by the user. So we can turn the hot water off, we can turn the heating off, and we can change a couple of other parameters. So it's very limited in terms of what can be altered by the end user. Again, to come out of the user function, we just press the back key. Now we're going to move along to the next one. So the next one is a person that's holding a spanner. That is the installer menu. But this time when I press enter, it's going to ask for a code because the installer menu is password protected. The code for that is 12. So all we do is dial around till we get to 12, press enter, and then all the installer parameters are available to be checked or changed. Now this is where we would alter the curve if we were fitting an outdoor weather compensator, for example. There are also a few other bits and bobs that we can do on there. When you come on a training day, we'll go through a few of those parameters so you've got a better understanding of, of what we're actually doing. What we can also do in the installer menu is put the appliance back to a factory reset. So if we think that somebody's been messing around with the appliance and changed some parameters, then we can go all the way to the end till we get to CNF, which is the configure function. If we were to press enter now, then that would do a factory reset on the appliance. Again, there are lots and lots of different parameters in this section of the menu that we will go through when we come on a training day. To come out of that, just press the back button and we're back to our original menu screen. Now, moving along to the next one, we can see an X inside a circle. So I scroll along to that one, press enter to go into it again, now this is the error log. So we can see we've got error with the number four. If I was to press enter now, then it will display the most recent error on the appliance. So I've put a few faults on this appliance, so we've got some in the error log. So we can see uh, the last error, the most recent, is E0410, which is an ignition fault, so failure to recognize a flame. To go to the next error, all we need to do now is just scroll till we get to number two. 
and then we get a different fault code. And then what we can do is keep scrolling through, looking at all the fault codes. So you can see we've got E410 again, and the final fault code, H0302. So that is a blocking code that when we did a factory reset, it's telling us a reset has taken place. Again, all the codes and the meanings for the fault codes are in the manufacturer's instructions, and also we will go through them when you attend a training day. To come back out of it now, if I press the back button, I can actually clear the error log. So if I've done a service or repair, and I want a blank log, so if anything happens in between the time of me doing a repair or a service to going back to it, I know that's going to be a fairly recent code. To clear the log, all we need to do is scroll along until it says CLR, clear. If I press enter, then what happens is the error log goes back to zero. To come out of that section, press the back button. So when we scroll along to the clock and press enter, so the final one that we're going to take a look at is the counter clock. So basically what we have are various pieces of data or parameters that measure various bits of data inside the appliance. So for example, how many hours the pump's been running for, what the fan speed is, how many hours the fan's actually been running. So all that data can be used on the timer section. Again, it's only read-only information. To come back out of that, all we need to do is just press the back button and we're back to the original menu structure. So we can see by navigating and pressing enter, we can enter each section all the way through. To leave the menu structure, just press the back button and we're back to where we were before. So that's the menu structure. The final thing I would like to show you is that we can turn the heating and the hot water off using the rotary dials either side. So to turn off the hot water, for example, all we have to do is rotate the dial anti-clockwise until off appears. And it's exactly the same for the heating. So in summer, if you don't want your heating coming on, then all we have to do is rotate that dial until it says off. So you can see that the menu structure that we've got on the appliance is really useful for commissioning, service, maintenance and repair. When you come on a training day, we will go through more of that information so you've got a better understanding of what each of those parameters and the menu functions mean. For further information, go to your area sales manager or go to backsea.co.uk forward slash training.